How are you getting along, sis? Oh, fine, Professor. Do you like your elocution lessons? I sure do. Just listen to this. Pennsylvania, a North Atlantic state of the Union, is one of the original 13. It is in the form of a rectangle, except in the Northwest, where a triangular projection gives us a shoreline of almost 40 miles on Lake Erie. On the east, where the Delaware River with two large bends separates it from New York and New Jersey. How's that, Professor? Oh, you're marvelous. As an elocutionist, you rank with the... just rank. Yeah, you know, that's what Miss Ripple was telling me. She said in another six months, I had positively ought to be mediocre. She meant tapioca. You know, Professor, I think it's awful nice of you to give me a part in your school play. Oh, it's nothing. It's just a small part. Say, it's about time for your class, aren't you? Afraid you're going to be late? Yeah, I reckon they're afraid they're going to be late, too, the way they're running. Guess I better catch up with them. She already has her part. Nice day, isn't it? Well, here I am, Professor, bright and early. You know me, the early bird. Well, go find a worm and shut up. I have to rehearse. La soi, la oh, Professor, I love your singing. I'm a bit attached to it myself. Oh, tell me, is your marvelous voice natural or have you trained it? Well, I tried training it, but it's not even housebroken yet. Oh, oh you're just marvelous. What is, Professor? Ooh, I love your voice. It's so masculine. Thank you. And the same to you. Oh, oh I, I hear you're doing a bit of opera in the show. Hadn't you better start rehearsing for Carmen? Never mind rehearsing. I'm ready for her if she's ready for me. <laughs> Say, Professor, this looks pretty good. We'll try it. Oh, Carol. She isn't here yet, Jeff. Where is she? How am I to put on a show without the cooperation of my artists? Well, she'll be along pretty soon. Come on, fellas, we'll run it through once. Gee, I wish we had someone that could sing this with me, just to try it. I have an idea. We'll keep it in the family. Oh, sis! Huh? You come down here a minute? Give me that rope, will you, bud? <whistles> sis, will you help us out? Sure, Professor, if there's anything I can do. Sing this song with Jack, will you? I'll try. I never saw Cupid pull a bow, never saw the arrow fly. All I know is that there stood you, and there stood I. Well, well, I went and fell. I fell into your terrific spell, and well, well, I went and fell for you. Well, well, you rang the bell, you did so right by our little nail, that well, well, I hope to yell I do. You tried to kiss me, I holler, don't, don't you dare to kiss me, I holler, don't. Well, well, you fixed me swell. You hit my heart like her William Tell. And well, well, I went and fell for you. Kiss me, I holler, don't, 
well, well, you fix me swell. You sent me right on the road to heaven. I fooled you, didn't I? Well, well, I went and fell for you. You had a voice like that. Sis, you were wonderful. It sure is a pretty song. Why, you're marvelous. With such a voice, you should sing only opera. Opera? <laughs> I don't know nothing about singing no opera. Then let me teach you. I'll make you a prima donna. Jeffrey, we'll rewrite the last act. Then you mean I can sing in your show? Singing it? Why, you're going to be the star. Come, gal, time's a wasting. I'd like to send a telegram. And this is all your doing, Horace Hopkins. I might have known something like this would happen. I should have put my foot down the very moment I learned what we'd done. Well, you wanted to get her away, didn't you? So, you humiliate our daughter by sending her to the same school and ruin her chances with Jeffrey by making her a laughing stock. Oh, what do you suppose Carol's friends think? I don't care what they think, if they think. Well, if you think that... Harvey. Yes, madam? Tell Marie to pack our bags. Yes, madam. We're going on a trip. What do you mean, we? Have you got a mouse in your pocket? You and I are going up to that college and settle this thing once and for all. And once and for all, I'm not going. Horace? Oh, really, Carol, you should have let me know about this days ago. Boy, who did the plumbing in this hotel? Horace. Well, what are you going to do about it? I'm not going to do anything about it. Do you mean to stand there and tell me that you're not going to do anything you about it? You listen what? to me, Claire Hopkins. I've been listening to your ravings for the last 400 miles. To say nothing about the last 25 years... Horace. You keep quiet and listen to me for a change. I've catered to the whims of you two just about long enough. And I'm fed up with your hoity-toity, falderall, and flapdoodle. If you don't want Sis in the same college with Carol, then take Carol someplace else. She's the one squawking. Father, I think you're being very unfair. And you be quiet, young lady, or I might get out the razor strap. You two are not the head of this family yet. As long as I pay the bills and wear the pants, I'm going to give the orders. You can make up your minds to that. Dad! Horace! You've never acted like this before. Well, I'm acting this way from now on. Hey, I didn't know I had it in me. Well, if he thinks that he Take can... it easy, Mother. I've got a few ideas of my own. And I'm not going to be the one to leave this college, either. Sure, this is Nick Barton, the manager. You want a what? No, I got all the talent I need. You what? You mean you pay me? <laughs> Say, what do you call this, a gag? Yes, you see, we're initiating a new member of our sorority. Yes, of course it's on the up and up. Yes, she can sing. Well, I'll be down to see you later in the week and we can make arrangements, huh? Thank you. Did it work? Perfectly. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Carol. I didn't know you had company. Oh, hello, sis. Come on in, darling. Oh, I don't want to butt in. Oh, that's all right, sis. We were just leaving. Goodbye, Carol. Goodbye. Goodbye, Bye. Carol. Sis, we have a surprise for you. But you mustn't tell a soul. Oh, I wouldn't, Carol. What is it? Well, the girls and I were talking things over. And we think you're such a swell kid that we want you to join our sorority. You mean your secret club? Uh-huh. Oh, Carol. You know, me being from the country and everything, I sort of figured I was an outsider here. You sure they're not doing it just because I'm your cousin? Oh, of course not. We're doing it because we like you. Gosh, Carol, 
No, I think this is just about the most wonderful thing that's ever happened to me in my whole life. What do I have to do to join? Oh, just the usual things, you know. Initiation and all that sort of thing. We'll show you what to do. Well, when do I be initiated? Well, we figured maybe Saturday night. But you mustn't tell a soul. It's a secret. Understand? Don't worry, Carol. I'll be a regular dummy. <laughs> You're telling I. <laughs> <laughs> 